There we go. Hello, everyone. It's your fairy godmother, Mint, and happy Halloween. Blessed Samhain, and happy, what is it, Saturday to all of you. I just wanted to film a really quick video talking about how to honor your ancestors. This is something that you hear all of the time. People talk about it all the time, especially on a day like today, which is Halloween, when honoring your ancestors and, you know, lighting a candle for them and having uh, your ancestor altar set up. But I want to just tell you a couple of ways that you could honor them. And so the practice that can be done today on Samhain, on this beautiful full moon, moon of the falling leaves, or um, any day of the year, anytime you feel like you miss a loved one, anytime you feel like you need a deeper connection with your family line, with your ancestors, these types of things can be done just throughout your life. Of course, there are some classic ways that you can honor them just by having their photos up in your home, by telling your family members about them, like your children, your cousins, nieces, and nephews, your significant other, just having a conversation with them about how the people in the family affect you, how much you love them, talking about their favorite things, their, what they like to do, their hobbies, projects, their jobs, like their personality, their character. Just having conversations about them and bringing them up and talking about them is a wonderful way of honoring someone who's no longer here and by showing them and their energy that they are with you and that you appreciate everything that they've done for you. Another thing that you can do is on special occasions, you can cook foods that were their favorites. On holidays where you gather and eat together, you know, and you do have your feast, you can make a plate for them as well. Make a plate for them, season it the way that they would like, and put it at and make a place setting for them. That's a wonderful way to honor them. Having their favorite alcohols or liquor um, or beverages, you know, on hand readily pour them a glass you know lighting a candle for them of course is something else that you can do putting a candle with their photo and putting that little little glass little shot glass to alcohol with their little candle and a little photo being like this is for you and you know giving them the honor that they deserve some really easy ways that people don't even think about um, are wearing their old clothing um, using their old sayings uh, wearing your hair the way that they did, using the same products that they did, um, just doing things that show that their energy is still alive and doing things that show that you paid attention to them and that you notice things about them, that you appreciate those things. Wearing their clothing is a huge way to honor them and I think it's a really special thing to do and it really, it gives you so much of a closeness to them. It's a recognizable item, it has a memory for you, it has memories for them. It's just something that's really sweet that you can do. Playing their favorite games, playing their favorite sports, even if you hate sports, just for fun, giving it a try and just trying to see things from their point of view. Um, board games, my mom and my brother and I used to play Scattergories all the time. Like we would just play all the time. Whenever I'd go over there, we would play Scattergories. So playing their favorite board games and remembering the things that they used to say when you're playing them, remembering like how fun it was to play these things with them is such a great way to bring their memory to the forefront and just to have them around and with you and make the energy in your home feel like they're there. Another thing that you can do that's also very common that people don't even think about as a way of honoring their ancestors is by wearing their old jewelry or keeping their old knickknacks and stuff like that. Um, having a lighter that was your grandfather's and using it or just having it with you. These things can also be used as talismans to, to bring that ancestor closer to you and to deepen your connection and deepen that communication line, make that communication line stronger so that when you do need a sign or a signal, you have an item that is readily available that they can connect with and that you can connect with as well. So I think that having their, you know, um, great aunt's rings, necklace, earrings, you know, any kind of jewelry pieces, bracelets, um, even clothing, like I said before, clothing, shirts, pants, whatever, belts, belt buckles. I think that things with metal have a really great memory. Having those types of things is really nice. If someone that you are connected to had some kind of a routine that they did, trying that routine for once and just seeing how it feels to be in that position that they were in like a bedtime routine, like a nighttime um, skin facial, what is it called? Skincare routine. <laughs> it's like the thing. Using a perfume or cologne that they did. There are so many ways of bringing that energy, bringing their energy back into your realm 
and this is not always thought of as a, as a way to honor them but it completely is honoring someone means showing that you love them respect them that you're here for them that you want them to be around you that you want to remember them and that you want them to be present with you um, honoring someone is thinking about their accomplishments sharing their accomplishments sharing their lives it's, it's adding that honor into everything that you're doing cooking their favorite food and seasoning it the way that they did um, if they had a recipe book cooking things from their recipes like their own handwritten recipes cooking those things that is such a huge honor imagine if you had something that was really special to you that you loved and then you passed it on to someone else and they loved that too and they shared that too with someone else that would make you feel incredible telling stories that they told telling your children and other children like uh, just people in general about about how wonderful they were to you and telling them jokes that maybe you know your old uncle used to tell you that kind of thing always helps and the number one way to me my number one way of honoring your ancestors and the people who came before you is by living a good life living the best life that you can live honestly <sighs> doing things that you want to do, trying so hard to reach your goals, reaching them, having goals, having an excitement for life, pursuing your passions, pursuing the things that you find interesting, that you find fascinating, um, strengthening yourself, taking care of yourself, taking care of your physical body, your mental health, your spiritual health, taking care of your family, taking care of things that you have that they've left to you, things that you had that they never got to have, taking care of yourself and living the best life that you can is to me the ultimate way of honoring your ancestors who have fought no doubt to get to where they were so that you could be where you are now. So on this day, this beautiful full moon, I am honoring my mother, my uncle, their brother and sister, my grandfather, their father by watching their favorite movies, laughing the same way that they used to laugh, listening to all their favorite songs, dancing, being happy, and being incredibly grateful for everything that I have and everything that they've done for me. Have a very wonderful, safe, and happy day. And remember that honoring someone is so much more than just one night you know, out of the year. Honoring someone is having them with you all the time and being proud of who you were to them and who they are to you. Good night, my loves. Mwah.